Asian art is becoming increasingly prominent around the world and artists from across the region are now showing their finest work in galleries and public spaces all over the globe. Among them is one of China's most accomplished sculptors, Xu Hongfei. His latest work, Chubby Women, is currently on display in Australia. Xu Hongfei spoke to Girish Solani. Ballroom dancing, surfing and even skateboarding. These plus-size sculptures are turning heads in central Melbourne. I thought it's amazing and um, initially I thought, you know, how unusual and then when I found out it was Chinese from, well, from China, um, it, it's even more unusual. But they're actually really cool sculptures. I think they're, I think they're grotesque but, uh, <laughs> and amusing. These sculptures are part of the Chubby Women exhibition. They're the works of one of China's most accomplished modern sculptors, Xu Hongfei. Using an oriental style, they are modelled on a universal language. So taking them to be exhibited in each country, many people greatly enjoy this type of artwork. It's very direct, not very deep, nor complicated. His world-renowned sculptures are being displayed at Melbourne's Federation Square, where curious onlookers have been getting up close and personal with them. Putting the artworks outside, it becomes a type of activity to let people interact with artworks that are often distanced from the audience in a gallery. This is a more relaxed, intimate, everyday artwork that lets people participate and interact with it. These sculptures are fun, uh, they're interactive, um, they appeal to children, to adults. I mean, a lot of people have said, oh, chubby women, this is very politically incorrect from a Western point of view. Uh, but women love them. Xu Hongfei, who's also the president of the Guangzhou Academy of Sculpture, believes art can be fun and amusing while incorporating tradition. With his meticulous use of white marble, precious wood and bronze, Mr Shu wants to leave viewers and art lovers with new ways to conceptualise beauty. Commonly you would assume most Chinese women are skinny. Skinny may be just your impression of them. Now there are beginning to be some very fat women around. These sculptures, they are changing an image, changing the traditional perspective of art. There are many women with these kinds of figures in Australia. I want to give them confidence, a healthy, optimistic outlook, and represent very joyful aspects of everyday life, their daily activities, love and music. It appears that, that message is getting across. I thought they were lovely. I really like them, and I think they're a very joyous type of sculpture. It's just having some fun. Why not? Well, we don't normally see Chinese people very overweight. And also, I'm just amazed that this particular one has strong dismanies, <laughs> <laughs> lifting up uh, such a, a big, larger, larger baby. Yeah, These sculptures are the first ever to be sponsored by the Chinese government on Australian soil. And curators say it's part of a wider effort to build more sophisticated trade ties between the two countries. Australia and China have great trade ties at the moment. The problem with that is that our trade relies on bulk commodities. Nine out of our top ten exports to China are bulk commodities. Now, tourism is the only major export to China that's in a growth phase, and it's in a rapid growth phase. Last year, Chinese tourists spent about $4.5 billion in Australia, which is more than any other uh, country's tourists. Now, at current growth rates, that's projected to grow to $10 billion within about six to seven years. Asian art now forms a significant part of Australia's cultural landscape. The total value of Asian works held in both private and public collections are said to be worth well over $300 million. And with artists like Xu Hongfei gracing stages down under, Australians can look forward to more of such exhibitions in the coming years.